I am very happy to have you here at the European Parliament to discuss a topic that is very important for me personally and are mobile phones dangerous? For organizations who are conscious of the effects of EMF, we uh, ask them to come and join us and uh, combine our forces. Uh, at this slide, we have some focus at the health issue. The health issue, by the way, is not only about humans, but also about uh, nature. We see problems with digitalization more in general. Children, uh, specifically children who uh, have long screen time, uh, they <coughs> have a one-sided development of their brain. And you see that uh, children have, who has a long screen time every day, write much less well than those who have only limited screen time. And also the memory of those children are much less than those who have limited <coughs> screen time. So these are very serious consequences of the digitalization and we really have to do something about this. So the objectives of the ESC, protection of humans, flora and fauna, it's not only uh, humans for the uh, health effects of EMFs. We want education and promotion of general understanding uh, of the effects of EMFs and digital communication. We want to support and encourage scientific research because we think research indeed is very uh, necessary for life processes. Not only molecules are needed, but a proper uh, electromagnetic fields are as essential as the molecules. And we want to pursue better regulation that also take into account these relations. Come and join us and uh, combine our forces. And it is really a tragedy that most of the regulatory bodies and scientists ignore everything but the thermal effect. How much Will a piece of metal or a piece of skin increase in temperature after some limit of exposure? But what about biological effects? What about long-term effects? So Mr. Johansson made a statement uh, on that event that the cumulative effect, not in five minutes, but over 20, 30 years, exposure to this radiation could have dire consequences. So this is something that has been completely ignored by most regulatory bodies. And he's not the only one. There are hundreds of scientists who even made some petitions to emphasize such dangers, but so far they are being ignored. Electro hypersensitivity is a very difficult condition uh, to have. When people suffer from it, it takes usually one to two years to understand that they're suffering from it. Then these people lose their jobs. And in some relationships, um, when you suffer from EHS and you live in town, you have to move out. You need to find a place where you can live. And then we have many people that have to move to the suburbs or to the countryside and we are confronted with people that move one, two, three times because electromagnetic fields are becoming wider and wider and then they move and then the electromagnetic fields reach them once again and then they have to move again. So, Therefore, we have been forced to acknowledge the fact that if there is to be a change in the laws, in the area of wireless uh, radiation, we must come together on a on European level in order to have the power to influence the EU laws and in this way also our national laws. Authorities and politicians have really failed to protect all living beings by closing their eyes for this issue. The most crucial issue in this area is the lack of health and environmental assessment, not only on the 5G rollout but all the wireless technologies, 2G, 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and so on. All human beings, especially our kids, are vulnerable. Beside the radiation issue, there are all kinds of very serious environmental impacts. I'm here today to make a better future 
for all of my grandchildren and for the generations to come so they also can experience the wonders of nature. Therefore, we ask the EU to apply our 23 proposals. As a final statement, I would like to send these three messages. The EU has failed to protect its citizens and nature against the dark side of digital rollout. The Stop 5G ECI has succeeded in many ways. And please apply the 23 proposals from the Stop 5G ECI in the EU law. A European Citizen Initiative, an ECI, Stop 5G. The title is Staying Connected But Protected. And I think that we wanted to talk about this ECI because at the end of, we are now at the end of February and it is urgent that people can express themselves and vote so that we can um, push in the right direction.